Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us here on News 5 at 6 on this Monday night. I'm Rob Quirk. Elizabeth has the night off. And first up, a homicide investigation underway right now after the body of missing cyclist Tim Watkins is found near Mount Hermon in that area outside of Palmer Lake. Now, not only is it a popular recreation area, but Watkins widely loved and respected in Palmer Lake and Monument. Understandably, the community on edge as sheriff's investigators are telling folks to be vigilant. Lena Howan, live near where that trailhead and the body was located. She joins us now with more. Well, we are near the trailhead where Watkins originally went missing on Thursday nights. Now, this tight knit community is understandably on edge tonight as the sheriff's office is now asking everyone to remain vigilant. We were here yesterday as El Paso County search and rescue crews were on scene just after a civilian found his body in the Mount Hermon area yesterday morning. On Saturday, those crews found Watkins shoe and bike nearby, but the search was called off when the sun went down. The sheriff's office says that the investigation was upgraded from a suspicious death investigation to a homicide after investigators processed the scene. They say the area where the body was found is used by a lot of people. So when they ask for people to be vigilant, they are requesting any information that might be relative to the investigation that no tip is too small. You know, any any piece of that area um, whether it's down at Mount Hermon Road in Red Rocks or up by the Limbaugh Trail, there's multiple trailheads up there. So any anywhere in that vicinity we would be interested in. The coroner's office will determine the cause and manner of Watkins' death once they have received enough information to make a ruling. Now, the sheriff's office does not have any suspects in this case just yet. So in the meantime, they are telling everyone that if you see anything out of the ordinary or suspicious in this area, you are asked to contact them right away. Coming up tonight at 10, we're going to hear more from the community on edge after this shocking news. For now, watching out for you in Palmer Lake, Lena Howland. News 5. Lena, thanks. Again, that missing cyclist is Tim Watkins, a well-known member of the Palmer Lake community and here in Colorado Springs for that matter. Tonight, some of those closest to him, the cyclists, are riding in his honor. Allison Zimmerman continues our coverage tonight. He was just your all-around good guy. Like he was, he was never out there to prove anything. He was never out there to be faster. He was just there for the ride. It's not difficult to see just how much Tim Watkins means to cyclists in Colorado Springs. Anybody who knows anybody in cycling community around Colorado Springs knows of Tim. And as Tim's hometown in Palmer Lake works through the pain of losing their friend, Kellen Brysel in Colorado Springs wants his legacy to live on. Hmm. I don't know. It's hard. <laughs> Bryson has known Watkins for about 10 years. And I met him through cycling, of course. And when we found out about what happened to Tim. I was uh, pretty much in shock. I think I still am. Just not knowing the circumstances and not knowing exactly what happened. I just never met a person in my life that could do no harm. And as Kaylin and his fellow cyclists wait for answers. He was just like my number one fan. And I just, him being gone is just gutted me. It's really a sad thing and he didn't deserve to go out the way he did. And as an investigation into Tim's death moves forward, the people he knew are doing their best to honor his memory. If more people were like Tim, I think the world would be a better place. Allison Zimmerman for us tonight. Our thoughts with the family. By the way, the cyclists say other memorial rides are in the works for Tim Watkins. Those, we're told, should happen within the next couple of weeks. We'll make sure to get you those details when it happens.